Hello everyone, this is Stealth, and today I'll be covering for you guys a video game review of Operation Flashpoint 2 Dragon Rising. Now this is the sequel to the first Operation Flashpoint, and if you guys ever played the Arma series, this will become secondhand nature. Now for you guys that play Call of Duty, Battlefield, Crisis, stuff like that, you're going to learn that this game is pretty darn difficult. I'm not going to say anything bad about it, but I will give some of my opinions of what I feel for this game. Now, I'm used to the Call of Duty myself, where it's just, you just run for about a couple minutes and you run into enemies. This game, you could be running for days on end. You'd be sitting there spending about 90% of the gameplay going from one objective to the next. And that, to me, that, that seems to be quite uh, agitated, you know, agitating. You'd be sitting there holding the W key and shift key for about six minutes while next thing you know you'd be placing quarters on your keys while you sprint around or for you guys that have this on the console system holding the uh, the wireless controller holding down the Ford on your analog pad while you're grabbing a soda. So that's one thing I'm going to say I dislike about this. Plus the distance between you and the enemy when they call them out where the enemies are. You'll see right up here. Um, you'll see what I mean. The guys are not that big from the distance that you have to shoot them. In real life, a 300 meter target you can actually see, not uh, a size of a pixel on your screen. So that, that makes it a little different. It makes it a little challenging as well. And plus, uh, every mission you do on campaign, you're going to be going through what this guy's telling you. Basically, a crud load of information you're going to have to remember during the whole time you're playing. But there are little tabs that you'll see in the game that tell you where to go so you don't lose track. Graphics on this are really, really... Uh, I, don't, I think they're done pretty well. Um, similar to Battlefield 2, you know, with a little bit of Call of Duty style. You know, so... Here you guys go. Here's a good example of seeing what it is to fire some fire uh, the bad guy. Eyes on two targets. Looks like a sniper team. Basically, you have to find where they're shooting you first. So it find, it's pretty difficult. Basically, he's behind that bush, but he keeps running back and forth. But that's the whole idea behind this gameplay. It's it's like I don't get it. You know, if they're gonna put like the AI on there, they're actually going to be doing something decent. Alright, so overall, uh, this game gets about a 6 out of 10. Good effort, but it is quite long if you like long games. Uh, another thing is, the graphics make it good, but the challenging part is you got to revive yourself with teammates, so it adds a lot of realism to it, plus command giving commands. So there you go. Alright, so just watch the rest of the video, and hope you enjoy. Later. Saber 2, this is Saber. Move rapidly to LZ Charlie, due north of your position on the far side of the mountain range. I'll copy, over. Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Interrogative. How far will we be moving the POWs on foot? Over. Saber 2, this is Saber. Estimated distance on foot is two clicks. There are no available LZs due to proximity of enemy strong points at radio station, naval base, and Skoji village. I'll copy. Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Moving to LZ now. Out. <laughs> 